chose Death to be the character in Darksiders 2 because War really set the stage for the Darksiders universe and introducing new elements, and we felt bringing in a new horseman with a totally new playstyle, a different personality, would be really cool, and Death is probably the most well-known of the four horsemen, so we thought he should get his shot. What makes Death different from War is almost everything about him. The way he expresses himself, the way he talks. I have an offer in mind. The way he handles business on the battlefield and the way that he gets around. It's much more feral, more animal-like. War is very much like a force meets force, a very head-on, steadfast, loyal-bound soldier. Death is much more of a calculated, elegant fighter, a chilling opponent on the battlefield. His traversal has definitely improved. It's a lot faster, more responsive, and so is his combat. His weapon is more interesting. He can dual wield or wield a single heavy weapon, depending on your play style. Death's primary weapon is a scythe. It's kind of a unique one. It's sort of a multi-purpose Swiss Army scythe, and he can use it with two different blades. He can attach it together to form the more traditional Reaper scythe. He can use it as a pole arm. Of course, he doesn't stop that. He'll pretty much use any weapon that's made available. You can get big axes. You can get crazy cool claws, big iron fists, and he'll even shoot guns. I mean, he'll use anything that he can, really. The main improvement from Darksiders 1 to Darksiders 2 was depth. We wanted to make the game more involved. We wanted to have more context. We wanted the player to really feel like they're in a real world with people living there, stuff going on, things going on. We give them more items to tell their own character, more characters to speak to, so we've got a lot more immersion on the story side of the game. The first game, most of it took place on Earth, so now we were totally free to create all these new areas. We have angelic fortresses, demon cities, the city of the dead. It got our, our team super excited. On top of that, there's a lot of weapons and armor, and obviously the new character as well, Death. Death's the most feared, and he's one of the oldest horsemen in the fiction. The kind of look of him as a big brother. And he's feared just because when he really gets down to business, he is the death dealer. That's sort of his thing. He wears his mask as an executioner's mask. That's his trade, that's his business. He takes people down. He doesn't wait for things to happen. He causes them to happen. So it's a much more aggressive style of game and a more aggressive character. I mean, I guess it's all wrapped up in his name, right? War implies some conflict, but death's the final end. Who doesn't fear that? A few words describe death. Cold and calculated. Agile. Both in the way he fights and the way he deals with situations. My favorite word to describe death is definitely arrogant. He's an opportunist. If I could uh, describe death in one word, it'd probably badass.